Welcome to tying Michigan's best trout flies. This session we're going to be doing what I call a hackle winged dun emerger. Uh, I call it that because I don't know if there's actually a name for this fly. It's a style of fly and one of the nice things about it as you can see by the name it's going to serve a dual purpose. It can be fished as an emerger or as the fresh hatch dun and with another twist that we'll talk about later on it can also be fished as a spinner. So let's get started. So to tie our uh, hackle winged dun emerger, I'm using a size 12 hook for demo purposes. And we're going to use uh, some tobacco brown thread. This is, uh, uh, yeah, my thread is messed up, excuse me just for a minute. We're gonna use some tobacco brown thread, six aught, that's uh, uh, number 47 Danville. And we're gonna cover the shank. Now this fly, actually is kind of a takeoff on a uh, comparadon. You're probably familiar with that, tied with a, a, a deer hair wing. It's a similar fly. There are several differences, uh, making it a little bit more effective under a number of conditions, I think. Uh, the tail I'm using is uh, just a little bit of uh, medium pardo. I really like that stuff. It's got nice banding on it. I'll get a good section of that for the tail. And we're going to put that on about, I like it to be about the length of the entire hook rather than just the shank. So let's put that on there. And take our thread back up about just past the halfway point. And there we're going to attach the body which I'm making out of deer hair, some dark deer hair, because this this fly, this style of fly with this color thread and tail and the hackle that we're gonna be using will be useful for things like Isos, Hendrickson's, uh, Little Mahogany's, and so on and so forth. But we can vary this, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But uh, let me get some of this deer hair, just a nice little section of that off and, and uh, Somebody asked me that, uh, don't you uh, ever clean out the deer hair or whatever? Well, when I'm off camera, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm uh, getting all the fuzz out uh, so we don't have that uh, to hinder our flotation. And then we're going to do this body similar to the way we've done the Robert's Drake. We want a little bit sticking over the end here to make uh, like a trailing shuck. Remember, this is a combination done and emerger fly. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna attach our body right where we left the thread off so we can trim it there and put it back on with a couple of snug wraps up here in the front. You just push down on this a little bit so that your deer hair envelops the hook and take the thread back toward the rear of the hook bind it down there and come back up now i left quite a gap here uh, because this is more indicative of the natural i took some pictures and uh, it's about 40 percent uh, the, uh, the thorax and the wing area. Uh, so that's what I'm doing here. And the hackle that we're going to use, I've uh, dyed grizzly to be dark dun. And uh, we're going to talk more about the, the type of hackle you can use. And for this fly, I'm going to use two hackles. I want this to be relatively thick here. And uh, we'll see why here in just a minute. But We'll prepare it, we'll attach our hackle in the front and uh, just snug that down and start wrapping together. I do them together all the time, so you, you don't have to do that. But uh, So this hackle, by the way, is 
probably slightly longer than what you would normally use for a 12 because I want it to imitate the wing and I'll tie it off here trim the excess I'm gonna whip finish it right now now to finish the fly I'm going to take it out of the vise and trim the hackle flush on the bottom. You won't see me do that, but you'll see the end result of it. So you notice now, yeah, it has the, the look of a comparison, only it's done with hackle, right? There's several advantages, I think, to this style of fly. Uh, the, you know, the hackle is, it makes a really, you can, you can get whatever color you want. Uh, in other words, I dye my own, but you can buy or dye your own to whatever color you want. So now, when you, when you take a good look at this fly, when you look at this assembly back here, we have, of course, a, what would represent a trailing shuck, right? So the fish can take it as an emerger. But now we've got a wing up here that's visible. So if the fish are looking for fresh hatch duns, they can take it as a dun. And just a couple of thoughts on this style of fly. When you're fishing in cold weather, the Hendrickson hatch is well known for this. Uh, the early little mahogany hatch, sulfurs uh, at times, uh, late season olives. Uh, sometimes the air is so cold that the fresh hatch duns cannot get off the water. And when you're under those conditions, you must have a fly that represents that fairly well. Uh, the emergers and nymphs and all that, are very have have very little effect under those conditions because those duns that are uh, that can't get off the water are are an inescapable food source for the fish and the fish just pick them off one after another so you want to fly that that has a good wing representation now the best one I ever found for that was the old style uh, Swisher and Richards sidewinder no hackles. And, uh, and are they a pain to tie with duck quills and all that? But so this is probably close to being second as far as uh, th that under those types of conditions where the fish have to see a wing if they're going to take the fly. But this will cover, like I said, this will cover two bases: the winged fly and or the emerger because they can see the trailing shuck. So this is kind of fits into my. If you saw the, the previous video, it kind of fits into the fly pattern rationale type of tying. And remember I said that this type of fly can possibly be used, altered a little bit uh, for a third, it can be used as a, as a third, uh, uh, excuse me, to imitate a third stage. When you tie the hackle just slightly larger and trim it like this, you can also use it fairly effectively in the spinner fall. And remember, this is a style of fly. So, for instance, if you wanted to use tie something like this for sulfurs, you're going to make the body much lighter. You're going to use yellow thread. You're going to use back here uh, maybe some uh, a medium barred ginger for the tail. And then up here, you're going to have a medium done hackle tied slightly large and trimmed flat on the bottom. So you can you can vary the materials, the hackle, the thread, etc., and imitate just about anything you want. These are really good flies. Tie some up. I think you'll have success. And thanks for watching.